it's important that your personal details are kept as private as they possibly can be. And, you know, companies have a responsibility as well, and they're supposed to have sufficient firewalls in place. But technology uh, and the advances in technology is such nowadays that, you know, people will attempt to hack in, and we believe that's probably what has happened on this occasion. So we will be looking at all of those things that are computer crime investigation in order of view to try and bring matters to a successful conclusion. Are the fraud squad involved? They are, yes, yeah. They will be they will be taking the lead role in this, yeah. yeah. Backed up by the computer crime unit. Well yeah, absolutely and, and whatever other resources are required of course, you know. Is there a difficulty that it could be uh, that it could be a, a, an overseas um, investigation, that it could could be something that happened outside the jurisdiction? Well, of course, that's, that's typical with what happens with cybercrime nowadays. And generally speaking, servers are in different countries from the jurisdiction that's actually investigating offences. And we will be trying very, very hard working with, with the, the Data Protection Commissioner and whoever else uh, could be of assistance to us in trying to, to find out what has happened on this occasion and, and try to give as much advice as we possibly can in relation to people protecting the integrity of their personal details while going online. It's a, it's a huge challenge.